welcome back to another Truthful Thursday. <laughs> loving these advice videos so we are gonna keep them going so today is truthful Thursday and I am here with my boy my hubbin and leave Raheem's link down below because people still keep asking what Raheem's Instagram is and what his YouTube channel is so I'm like I'll leave it down below again so you guys can go and follow and subscribe over there so for those of you guys that are coming to their first truthful Thursday truthful Thursday is just a day where Raheem and I read some of your emails and just answer and try to give you guys advice on whatever life issues you are going through we try to choose like them at random but so today's video is from a female in vancouver raheem take it away and that's all the information you guys are getting about her let's okay. go hi raheem bai and sabadidi thank you so much for the advice videos because i really need it i am from vancouver and i am 19 years old my advice is about my sister's ex-boyfriend my sister and her boyfriend was dating for eight months they broke up almost four months ago i have been talking yeah i've been talking to him without her knowing and now we really like each other oh my god why did we choose this email i think people always get confused we don't actually read the whole email whenever we see like an email with a lot of stuff and like people saying please 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 i need your advice we end up reading it without actually knowing what we're getting ourselves into why <laughs> why on earth would you ever do that anyways go on unless if we're being truthful unless you always had a crush on him no, let, I think I think that she's no. probably gonna explain more. I have been talking to him without her knowing. Okay, so he is 22. Last week he told me he wants me. Uh, Wait, how old is she? She's 19. Okay. Okay, so he is 22. Last week he told me he wants to take me on a date, and I said yes. But now I'm scared my sister will find out and get mad. She, Obviously. She saw me talking to him about two months ago and got really mad and said, "I should talk." I shouldn't talk to him after they broke up. Okay, and yeah. I told her I won't talk to her. Oh, okay. okay, okay. She is with somebody else now, so I don't think she should care, but I know she will get very mad. I want to tell her before she finds out from someone else, but I don't know what to say to her. She's not very understanding, and I love him a lot. I love wait, her. Wait, wait, well, I know, wait. I know, I know. Hold on. Time out. Time wait, wait, no. wait. She just said she loves him a lot. She's only been talking to him for four months. Not even that. She would from what she said she she he just asked her on a date so they haven't even gone out yet or they might have gone I'm out sorry. by this video comes out and you already love I'm sorry okay let, let's finish this yeah i feel like sometimes people yes. email us thinking that we're gonna take like we're just gonna go along with whatever they want and just just tell them what they need to hear but we're not gonna do that we're gonna tell you not what you want to hear but what you need to hear so you better be ready for the truth <sighs> go on okay and she's 19. Okay. Maybe that's why it's coming out. I love you, girlfriend. But I love. Okay, so listen, well listen, 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 okay, Linda, sorry. listen. I love her too, but I think I love him more. <gasps> she did not just say that. Like, like that. ah. <laughs> what is she thinking? Wait, why would you ever say that? Or even, oh my god, and okay. if you mean that, that's even slightly more confusing. Okay, let's finish this so we can give our opinions, okay? okay? Sorry, let's sorry, finish this, okay. Going. Oh my god, this is, <gasps> this is hurting me. Okay, hurting but my heart. How, how should I tell her? I know this is not a good thing, but I want to marry him one day, so she needs to know. He's a good guy and tells me he will take care of me and be there for me. My sister watches your video, so I hope she understands if you explain to her. I love him a lot, and I don't know what to do please help me i really need it okay so firstly to the girl who sent me this email i will speak to you in a little bit but your sister who watches my videos girlfriend i love you so much thank you for all the love and support and i just want you to know that your sister is not doing the right thing you are obviously in the right for being upset when you do find out won't you find out if she watches this video exactly that's what i just said <laughs> i think that's what she's hoping because she said my sister is a huge fan and she watches the video oh, so like she's like maybe if you tell her then she'll 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 listen to your advice but i'm not gonna give her the wrong advice because obviously i am not going to take your side on this because this is absolutely wrong so not girl girl that wrote me the email because i can't say her name out loud and i never will but sister of that girl who is watching this video i just want you to know that 
don't hate your sister for this because she to me it just sounds like she's a little bit immature, immature. 19 she's, she's 19 she still has a lot of growing up to do and it, and you know what guys are very very persuasive they know exactly what they're doing sometimes so i'm not you i love you but like sometimes they just know what they're doing and if that guy knowingly started talking to your sister he's 22 he should know a little bit better okay so if he's doing it knowingly then like you know what your sister might just be super mas masum and naive and so like i hope or, you won't talk to her or so i'm not taking it i'm not saying i'm not trying to defend the guy or anything like that or or the scenario could be that she kind of liked him the whole time but she would have mentioned that if a girl if she would liked him the whole time she would have been like yeah my sister went out with him first even though i liked him sure. oh my god i feel like i need a part two for this email i need i need this girl to send me more details because this is just like i don't know this is pretty serious it's kind of it's kind of weird it's, oh my god so it's kinda weird. okay hold on let me give my perspective let's go one at a time structure it out okay, you go so you said your part right okay so, okay hold on for you to date um your sister's ex is pretty weird for you to right even off, talk to right him after the bat, they yeah. broke up and take even talk to him and console him instead of consoling your sister or however that happened. It's already making my that, blood boil. I'm sorry. I love you. That's already pretty weird still. But. I'm saying. Okay. Um. Shit. <laughs> okay. I said something similar last time. Mm -hmm. If this scenario was kind of like, let's say this happened. Yeah. Okay. But let's say you can fast forward five years. She's like, hey, I'm, I'm 24. I'm 25. The guy's going to be, what, one, one, like 27, 28, right? I'm sorry, no matter oh, what, no, 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 no. They were older and there was a big gap in between where your sister went on with this dude five, six years ago and somehow you guys met now and hit it off. Okay, fine, maybe that's acceptable because maybe you had a couple boyfriends in between or your sister had some boyfriends in between. That's what I'm trying to say. Right now, it's like 0% acceptability right there's zero percent acceptability at any point in ever time. ever okay that's that's her point this but, is my thing what if no what if what if i'm playing, I'm playing devil's advocate okay, here fine. what if in this case those two are meant to be with each other and they stay happy and they like actually love each other so because then, because then obviously you don't love your sister enough but then again she did say that she says she loves more than her sister even though she's known for four months and she's yeah, known her sister yeah, for to, 19 yeah, years yeah to say that now is completely wrong and I don't know how you could love okay, some see, random is, dude more than your sister. This is my thing. You don't weird. know what your sister and him have done. No matter what he says and what she says, there's a lot more to the story that you will never know. Are you okay with being with a guy that is... Well, your, clearly. Why did I open this email? Vancouver has a lot of... Uh, well, I don't even know if she's... We she didn't say where she's from. She yes. said she's from Vancouver, but she didn't say her background. So you would have helped knowing what culture she comes from so that we could have at least like because everybody has like different <laughs> Alhamdulillah Ya Alhamdulillah Ya Alhamdulillah Now you say Ya Dikmullah Ya Dikmullah See we just taught you guys something Yeah Okay So yeah basically There's yeah. a lot of people you know, in this in Vancouver so I'm sure you can Okay so if you out. want that's yeah, nice exactly. I was gonna say, if you want some serious advice, okay, here's my here's my truthful advice to you. Stop talking to that guy. Throw that conversation down the drain. You're 19 years old. There's three billion men on this planet. Okay, but not that you not, can choose from. No, not really. And you decided to go with the Probably one like a guy. Tons of millions in Vancouver. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna travel the world and try to look through all the billions of people. Were we talking about logistics? Just be now? more accurate, man. But anyways, there's like millions of men probably in the area that you live in. Why choose the one guy your sister has already dated? Boy. And you know what? You don't know, like that's my point. Like you don't know how deep their relationship was and you will never know because they both probably will never tell you. So for you to even think that it's okay for you to go for this guy is just what like, yeah, and, and to be really honest with you, if I look back to when I was 19, if I said I was in love when I was 19, I would slap myself and be like, yeah, you don't know Can what I love is. Yeah, you don't know you don't know what love is at 19, to be really honest with you. 
it, it's more just a crush or no you never know maybe somebody does because i have friends that were with the same no, no. person since they were like no i get it like but at that age anything. you don't know what love means yeah. you know what i'm trying to say there's, yeah, there's so many levels to it but especially the fact that you said that you love him more than your sister you obviously don't really know what love is because you cannot love anybody more than you love your blood i feel bad because i'm being super harsh on her but i also feel really bad for her sister because she's in a situation where she has no idea and she's going to be so hurt when she finds out especially if she actually loves you a lot more than what you're saying you love her she's going to be devastated Yo, just because focus on school you know you can make tons of friends go out or have and this blast, guy is 22 sort of make this guy watch my video actually bring him to me so i can like knock some sense into him like are you kidding me you're 22 years old yeah. and you're talking to your ex-girlfriend's little sister Okay. Out of, okay, out of the two people, if 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 there was a really clean-hearted, kind, really nice person, and one, and either or, someone would have backed out and been like, "This is not right." Exactly my point. Nowhere in your email did you ever say that. Oh, you know what? He's rethinking it because he's scared he's gonna hurt my sister, and his intention is not that, or that you were rethinking it. Your email clearly stated that this is what I'm going to do, and I know it's gonna hurt my sister. How should I tell her? Can you tell her instead? That's what shows get me. Get her to understand. Exactly. Get her to understand. Not that like I feel bad or that like, oh my God, I like, you know, I feel like I can spend the rest of my life with this man, but I'm so like, you know, torn between my sister and him. I love my sister so much. What should I do? It wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was mainly like, I love this guy so much. I love him so much. Oh my God, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to have his babies. We're going to live happily ever after. And then there's my sister that I kind of sort of love. But not as much as this guy. Like, how should I tell her? Because she's going to eventually find out. That's weird. That's literally what it sounds like. And that is so hurtful to me because your sister is going to end up finding out whether you tell her or not through this video. So what we can do, this is, again, this is a very interesting topic. No, um, it's not. This is a very aggravating topic. It is. Okay, so if, if they want, they can write back if with more details. Because we get more details in some of these. Yeah, yeah. If they want, yeah, even if the sister wants to email. If the sister uh, wants to email, please email me. Yeah. You obviously know what your sister's name is. And if you're in Vancouver and this is going on, um, if you can email me and tell me that like, hey, I'm responding to my sister's email, that and you can give me a little bit more details from your perspective and so, so I can understand, I could probably answer a little bit better. But you're gonna, you're gonna have to tell me the exact name, like first and last name of your sister to make sure that it's the same person. In love with someone after four months is not, mm, this ain't no Bollywood movie. I'm just saying. But yeah, that's that's it for me, really. What's your what's your closing statement? My closing statement is my heart goes out to your sister because the poor girl has no idea and she's probably going to find out right now if she does end up watching this video. And I'm really sorry that your sister decided to make this decision in her life. Um, chances of them actually getting married and living a life together are slim to none. So if she does decide to stay with him, just let it be, let it play itself out. Um, be patient, love your sister because she's still growing up and she has a lot of growing up to do. So just love her and support her through whatever decision she does make. Um, don't hold this against her because at the end of the day, you still need to have a clean heart. And don't hate us, please. I'm just, hey, this is the this is the thing yeah. about this, the, the Thursday videos is we're gonna be as truthful as possible and give you our opinion. Yeah. Hey, you don't have to listen to us. You know, we could be completely wrong, but we're just giving our opinion at the end of the day. So don't, so don't hate us, stay subscribed, okay? So yeah, that's, that's what I have to say to your sister. And for the girl that did email me, I think like I don't I'm sorry like I don't want to be mean or anything um, I think you're amazing thank you for supporting me and thank you for emailing me and like you know having enough courage to email me with the entire story yep. not knowing what type of response you were gonna get but as we said this is truthful Thursday so if I believe that you're doing something wrong that I don't think is okay I will tell you um, I do feel like you need to break it off with this guy because it's still very early. Four months into into just talking to a guy is nothing. It's not worth losing your sister's respect or losing your sister's relationship over. And I feel like this will cause a tear between you two. So if you can, leave him, go up to your sister, apologize to her, and just try never, ever, ever to let any guy come between you guys because no guy is ever worth it. Yeah, like I, I feel like if you guys do decide 
to go out on that first date and things do end up progressing between you two then I don't know I feel like it'll really cause a tear between your sister and you I hope your sister finds it in her heart to forgive you and I hope you go and you gravel and you <laughs> ask her for her forgiveness because this is this is something that can basically break your relationship and change it forever. Um, blood is thicker than water. And always remember, yeah, blood is thicker than water. Your sister has been there for you since you were born and she will be there for you till your last breath. This guy could just come and leave and change everything between you two. So I'm going to leave the video at that. I love you guys a lot and thank you for emailing in and having the courage to email in. And I'm sorry if I hurt you or if I offended anybody but this is just truthful thursday and it's what we believe and what we think and this is about it for today's video guys hope you guys liked the video and if you guys did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video and if you guys have more advice that you need to ask ask away and we will try and give our best best what best advice possible yes. love you guys lots take care keep smiling and so